Hello, hello, welcome back to another art therapy prompt. Um, thank you guys again for joining. I hope your week is going well. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine that we've been having. Um, today we are going to be doing um, a dandelion wishes prompt. Um, and we're going to be talking or thinking about some wishes that we have both for ourselves and for other things. Um, and we are going to draw a dandelion together. So as per usual, you need your paper, you need your pencil eraser if you've got one, and any coloring materials that you want to use. Um, and yeah, so go ahead, grab your uh, all your materials, and then we'll get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by drawing our dandelion, um, and we'll just do this together as we typically do with our drawings. Um, so grab your pencil. And this is kind of the idea of what we're going for. Again, if you have any um, different ideas of how you want to do your dandelion, by all means do that. This is kind of what it's going to look like in the end. So we're going to start off by doing the long stem of our dandelion. Okay, and it can be as tall as you like. Um, you can do a thick stem, a thin stem, totally up to you. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to turn my phone over. All right, so we're going to start our dandelion with the main stem. So you, it can be as long as you guys want. I'll start somewhere in the center and kind of draw a line back. It can be straight, it can be curvy, however you want. Then we are going to start at the top of this line and we are going to draw shorter lines going out and around in a circle. So start at that top line and draw lines. They can be all sorts of lengths. like that and then we're going to go around again and try and fill in some of those spaces. Dandelions are thick and poofy so we've got to fill in some of those spaces that don't have lines. It's okay if some of them are overlapping. That's just how things are in nature so don't worry about it. There's no such thing as perfection in nature. Just keep going until you feel like you've got all of those big gaps filled. Okay, so I've got something like that. And so now you're going to take, uh, you're going to go uh, at the end of each of these lines and you're going to add kind of like a U or a V like shape. So for example, if you see these, you've got like the V shape at the end of each line. So go ahead and add those in. You can do some that are bigger with the big lines and some that are smaller. Again, there's no right or, way, right or wrong way to do these. And if you feel like you need to add a few more lines in there, go ahead. And then, once you've got that how you want it, we're going to draw a few that have kind of been blown away. So again, you've got that short little strand and then the V-like shape. You can do even a third kind of fourth leg shape if you like. And then you can do another one. And you can do as many that are being blown away as you want. I'll do maybe three of them. Like that. And then 
We can add some grass down at the bottom. You can fill your whole bottom or you can just do the little portion. All right, and so when you're happy with it, um, you guys can go ahead and color it or outline it. Um, make your dandelion whatever color you want it to be. You can make it rainbow, you can make it um, yellow or just black, um, whatever you prefer. I know that these dandelion poofs are pretty, um, I guess they don't have a lot of color in them, um, but by all means make them colorful. Uh, so take a bit of time here to color and outline and then we'll come back and start adding some wishes. Okay, so now that you guys have your dandelion all colored the way that you want it to be, um, again, you can color it however you like, so don't feel like it has to look like mine or like anyone else's. Um, we are now going to add wishes to our dandelion, and I have four um, different wishes that I want you guys to think about. Um, so we'll start with the first one. You get, Again, you can write them wherever you like on your page, wherever you have room. Um, so I've written two on this side and two on this side. Um, and these are the wishes, not the answers. Um, so we'll start with the one at the top here, which is a wish that you have for the world. Um, so that could be surrounding um, a wish that you have, maybe you wish that um, COVID would stop or that we will find a cure. Uh, maybe you wish that global warming will be, um, solve that we can reverse it. Maybe you wish that people would be kinder in general. Maybe you wish, um, I don't know, maybe you wish uh, whatever it is that you wish. So think about it. Um, think about something that you really want for the world. Maybe you want more equality. Maybe you want um, hockey to be on the TV 24-7. It can be literally whatever you want, um, but something that you wish for the world to experience. Okay, so think about that one. Um, you, so you can write down a wish that you have for the world and then the wish underneath, um, and then we'll move on to the next one after that. Okay?
All right, so my wish for the world is equality. Um, again, yours can be sentences of things or single words, totally up to you. Um, the next wish that I have for you guys is a wish for someone that you care about. So think about someone in your life. It could be a friend, a family member, um, a support worker, whatever, whoever it might be, someone that you care about. Uh, what is a wish that you have for them? Okay, so go ahead and write that one out or draw it out however you want to um, express it. Uh, and then we'll come back after that. All right, next up is a wish for your future self. So something that you wish to accomplish sometime in the future or to experience or whatever it might be, um, but a wish that you have for yourself sometime in the future, okay? Uh, so go ahead and write that one down uh, and then we'll continue from there. All right, and the very last one is a wish for your present self. So that means yourself right now. What is something that you wish um, for yourself? Again, this can be anything, um, anything. There's no limits to what your wish can be um, as long as it refers to um, yourself and something that you want for yourself, okay? All right, so now when you think of these wishes and you think of a dandelion and you think about blowing these seeds off of your dandelion, I want you to visualize each one of these seeds going towards um, someone that your wish was to. So for example, um, one of your seeds is gonna go towards the world. 
Um, one of them is going to go towards the person that you care about, and then the other one is going to go towards yourself. Okay, so you're going to take a deep breath in, and you're going to blow your dandelion seeds, and they're going to go off into the world, um, and they're going to touch all of the people and things that you referred to in your wishes, um, and they're going to come true. All right? I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed the prompt. I can't wait to see what your guys' wishes were for the world for, and for yourself and for the people that you love and care about. Um, thank you, as always, for joining me and for um, participating in these prompts. Um, I'm always happy to hear what you guys think, so feel free to tell me. Uh, and yeah, that's everything for today. I will see you guys again on Friday.